Here's some news you might have missed on the Bible Forum this past Sunday evening. Pastor Rick Warren uh, in his Southern California-based Saddleback Church is hoped to reach 50,000 people uh, during the Easter weekend. According to the Christian Post, the megachurch's 16 campuses will host 57 Easter services to celebrate Christ's resurrection. Pastor Warren will deliver the message at all 57 services. The first sermon will be delivered in person at the main Lake Forest campus, and after that the message will be broadcast to all the other locations, including the international campuses in Berlin, Hong Kong, Buenos Aires, and South Manila. The service will also be available online. Uh, Pastor Warren said the East, that Easter is a particularly meaningful time of year for his family as his son Matthew committed suicide five days after Easter in 2013. For this reason, Easter represents a time of hope, joy, and victory for all who have endured suffering. When you come to Saddleback, you'll find a welcome hand, a warm greeting, a smile, unconditional love, no matter who you are and the message of God's mercy, and that's going to strengthen you. It's going to encourage you. It's going to transform your life. Question, is that what Easter is about? Does Easter represent a time of hope, joy, and victory for people who have endured suffering or for people who have repented of their sin and embraced the Lord Jesus Christ dying to self all 16 campuses. How many churches can one guy pastor? And the goal? Spread God's mercy. Mercy that will strengthen, encourage, and transform your life. These are code words. They're not even Bible words. People can take these things any way they choose. A true Christian? Be encouraged that Saddleback cares for their soul. A nominal Christian? certainly won't be offended by this. A pretend Christian? He'll have hope. And the pagans? Well, they'll know they've been accepted. And nothing will change about any of them. Welcome to 21st century churchianity. Where does all of that take us? Well, it takes us away from the gospel because the gospel is harsh. It's condemning. It's divisive. What's the message of Easter? The message is that you're a sinner, desperately wicked, deceitful above all things, separated from a holy God. And through the shed blood of the Lord Jesus Christ on that cross, you have hope. Not that you'll feel better, but you have hope that you will not be separated from God. Not now, not ever. That's the message of Easter. But that's not the message that these folks are going to hear from Pastor Warren.